we will be doing this uh, comparison between Spring Boot and Node.js so I've always wanted to do this comparison and uh, yeah this is the ultimate speed test uh, uh, it would also be correct to say if I could term this as a performance test because you know these two are completely different frameworks so Spring Boot is a web framework which is used along with Java to uh, create um, you know server side or back-end web applications as most of you would already have known but I myself have not uh, used Spring Boot in production I have not I've only done some side projects with Spring Boot and Node.js is something that I'm more well versed with I've been working with JavaScript uh, and the JavaScript ecosystem for uh, the last three to four years and I just wanted to compare or benchmark some simple use cases uh, for my own knowledge so I thought I would share uh, these with you so the first test that we will be doing is a simple uh, get request right so simple get request uh, uh, and to compare you know we'll be using the Apache benchmarking tool to uh, get you know we'll be firing uh, thousands of requests at you know certain concurrent levels and see what those benchmarks tell us and we'll be doing entirely on the local system on my local system local system or local host or whatever you you want to call it you know and then we'll be doing one io operation io operation so we'll be doing this both in spring boot and node.js and the third request that we'll be doing is a cpu bound operation so these are the three uh, you know scenarios that we will be doing so uh, let me go ahead and show you the demo application so this i have basically set up uh, on my local machine so we have a simple spring boot application which i have generated using spring initializer initializes a spring boot application on your local and you can just open it in whatever uh, you know uh, way you want so this is uh, currently running and inside this demo folder i've, cre I've created a demo control.java and you can see that these are the various uh, you know uh, request so uh, right now we have the you know the at rest controller annotation and at rest request mapping slash api and this is the path so the first path is uh, slash hello and this will uh, you know return a simple hello right hello from spring boot you know and this will be the cpu bound task uh, which is uh, a fibonacci uh, sequence so the user just inputs uh, uh, you know something like that and it'll you know this is kind of like cpu bound right not much but still cpu bound so we'll get to know the differences between these two right and the third one is a transform and this is basically trying to reverse a given string uh, we'll see how these two perform and we'll get to the conclusions and let me go ahead to the node.js uh, setup that i have and i'm using express framework to make things a bit easier and you can see i have used app.get slash epa slash hello and this will return hello from node.js so the other was hello from spring Boot. this is hello from node.js to let us differentiate and these two will be running on two different ports so spring Boot is running on port 8080 and node.js is running on port 3000 so without much delay let us go to the benchmark and if you want to see how I have set up AB, uh, AB is nothing but Apache benchmark. So it is a free and open source tool which is used to benchmark, you know, API requests and a bunch of other stuff. But I will use it for benchmarking API requests. You can uh, specify a certain number of requests that you want to fire to that particular port and you can uh, set the concurrency level as well. So let me show you a simple example of uh, the hello world get request, right? So as you can see, AB slash N 10,000 slash C 100, which means we'll be firing 10,000 requests at a concurrency of 100 requests. So, and I will be specifying the path. So that is HTTP localhost 880 slash API slash hello. And I press enter and you can see it's benchmarking. You know, it's, it's, quite, it's quite fast, right? You can see a bunch of results. Uh, you can see that you know, HTML transfer request per second is 5982, which is a lot, you know, and you have all these uh, P99 average 26, uh, you know, these are the important metrics and we'll be doing, let's fire this for Node.js as well, right? So 
AB slash in 10,000 slash 300 and localhost 3000 which is firing into my Node.js uh, application port. Boom. So uh, here we can compare a lot of things. So here you can see that the request per second is 5205 and the above one was 5982. So which means the request per second was faster for the Spring Boot application. Right. So there are a bunch of reasons for this. Uh, I'll get to that in the end of this video. Uh, basically what Spring Boot does is it natively uses all the CPU cores, right? So natively it without, you know, out of the box, it can use all of the CPU cores, all of the, you know, it, it, it uses multi-threading, right? Without the user having to do anything, right? Without the developer having to do anything. But for Node.js, it is a single threaded async, you know, architecture. Uh, so that is that's what's happening in node.js. So we can't really compare those two unless you know, we actually You know, but most people don't actually uh, use worker threads and having node.js to use all of the CPU cores We'll have to write additional code for that which we won't be doing right So you get a basic idea of what this is now. Let's go to the second request, right? So this request, as you can see, is uh, firing 10,000 requests at a concurrency of 100 and it will take in data. So that data, I've specified it in a file called post underscore data to JSON and it is firing into 8080 slash EPA slash transform and hit enter. Let's see. So here also we can see that the request per second is 6,284, which is really high. and uh, P99 is just 22, uh, which is uh, pretty fast is uh, what I think. Um, we don't really have the memory management, uh, uh, you know, metric uh, inside of Apache Benchmark does not give me how much memory this application will use. Right, let us try the same thing for Node.js and let me change the port from 8080 to 3000. Right, and as you can see this it is a bit slower. So the request per second is 495, right? For this, it was how much? It was 6284, which is uh, which is a really high number, right? Really high number. Um, you know, uh, so that is, that is kind of like, uh, you know, you get the whole picture of how uh, it is slower, you know? And you know, the reasons are there, the reasons are there, uh, but you know, that that's the whole point of this video is to compare uh, these two. You know, everyone has its uh, pros and cons and you have to uh, choose the framework according to your use cases, what I And coming to the third scenario, we will be, uh, we wanna test uh, it for the Fibonacci sequence. So it is kind of like a CPU intensive task uh, and yeah, let's see what we have. So AB uh, slash uh, hyphen N 1050. So 1000 requests at a concurrency level of 50 and port 880 slash FIB slash 10,000, right? So here we go. And as you can see, this is really fast. So Spring Boot just blew it out of the park, finished 1000 requests with zero failures with zero failures and time taken for test is just 0.138 seconds, you know? And, um, you know, the uh, transfer rate is 2064 2, and request per second, 7,240 requests per second. So this really shows the power of, uh, you know, the JVM, right? Uh, the, you know, the whole multi-threading or uh, multi-CPU, uh, usage and this is really consistent uh, from Spring Boot. Uh, only thing that it does take more memory than the Node.js app. Let's let's hit this for the Node.js app as well. So same thing. Localhost 3000 slash FIB slash 10,000. Ooh, it did take longer. It did take considerably longer. So request per second, as you can see, is 582. So just the results are insane man i mean the results are insane spring boot is way faster uh you know everything on every metric it is slower so uh time taken for test 1.7 seconds whereas uh spring boot took just uh you know uh just under uh 0.138 seconds so this is like 
200 times faster you know so i'm not saying uh, which one is good or bad this is just some data by which i hope the people who are in a position of whether to use spring boot or node.js have this kind of you know uh, uh, um, you know this data and look at the data and just uh, tell uh, which is you know uh, which is good for your use case and this video is not saying one is better than the other each has its own use cases and as you know uh, it does take up more memory uh, than node.js so that is something to be considered right so these are kind of like the tests that i wanted to bring to you all and i hope this data uh, is useful and uh, i'll be doing more such uh, comparisons in upcoming videos so stay tuned and if you like this content please subscribe to my channel it really helps me out a lot peace